what's going on there guys good morning well good afternoon to most out there it is uh, october 5th 2021 about 11 25 a.m california time so still in the morning technically latest quake on the globe is going to be a 5.2 earthquake striking over here around the uh, looks like the taiwan area around the east china sea on the globe there pretty uh significant uptick in earthquake activity uh, looks like 5.2 and also a 5.4 just shortly ago also some movement off the coast of japan so we're seeing a pretty good increase in earthquake activity in this portion of the world where it has been relatively quiet uh, for some time so kind of watching that pretty closely also a little earthquake showing up on the petrolia station that's a station there in northern california uh, southern end of the cascadia subduction zone not for sure how big that is uh, but definitely flatlined the uh, seismograph station there pretty significantly so we'll see what type of uh, or how big that earthquake is once the USGS uh, issues that uh, that data so there is the earthquake activity occurring in this section of the world uh, just a short time ago had a 5.6 off the coast of Japan this originally came in as a 6 point I believe is a 6.1 or 6.0 off the EMSC website but uh, definitely downgraded by the USGS to a 5.6, 53 kilometers deep around the Japan Trench area. There has been a little bit of earthquake activity um, in this region, uh, including, uh, well, let's see here. Stand by for one second, zoom in there. Yeah, we did see a couple fours, looks like prior to this by a couple hours um did have a 4.5 a little bit more shallower at 10 kilometers looks like about three hours maybe three and a half hours or ago and one much earlier this morning late last night uh, down here a little bit deeper activity so overall general increase in earthquake activity in this section of the world um, definitely be on guard here in this region as well as well as little activity off the coast um, in the East China Sea region where we had that 5.2 and a 5.4 all within the last hour um, so a whole bunch of movement kicking up here in this region last night early this morning a line of activity from the Philippines southward through Papua New Guinea Solomon Islands all the way through Fiji into Samoa area the Kermadec Trench has remained relatively quiet over the last 24 hours but uh, still kind of keeping an eye on this region. Uh, but we're looking at some quiet spots finally getting hit. I don't think we're done with this activity. These couple fives have me a little on the worried side that there could be uh, potentially something much bigger um, about to pop here pretty soon. Just uh, kind, of, uh, kind of an odd painting here of dynamic and pressure activity in this region. So we're kind of watching that pretty closely. Uh, in the South America region, this here is uh, some older earthquake activity from last night, but we did see some deep movement uh, near Bolivia, a 4.4 at 263 kilometers well into the Peru Chile Trench, uh, also the west coast. Let's go ahead and check that out with the all magnitudes map here. And uh, somewhat pretty active. There's that, okay, here's that. Remember, I was telling you guys about the uh, Petrolia station there, picking up that uh, little mark. Let's show you guys, see if I can pop it up again there it goes it's just disappearing uh, right over here um that is going to be that 2.0 that's listed in the map here in that red circle just off the coast of eureka into the cascadia subduction zone uh, this area here no joke folks for a major earthquake we're even seeing some movement off the coast of oregon look at that activity right smack dab into the cascadia mega thrust area the fold and thrust belt this region right here dynamically set up to produce a major mega quake talking about 9.0 or possibly greater um, soon when i say soon it could be today it could be right now it could be a couple years from now but either way time is ticking here along the cascadia uh, let's go ahead and check out the movement here off the coast of oregon 2.2 deep 21 kilometers off the coast also this earthquake right here 1.6 deep earthquake activity occurring this one that struck here off the coast of eureka deep as well and it looks like uh when was this one i believe this one was late last night there's a 3.4 this one pretty shallow but uh man let me tell you there's a 
Gotta watch this, folks. The trimmer department, if you didn't catch my update last night on the Cascadia trimmer, we're looking at quite the increase in earth... Uh, I shouldn't say earthquake activity, but uh, that may be happening soon. It is happening already with some of these quakes off the coast of Oregon and Northern Cal. This trimmer has been ongoing for quite some time. Yesterday, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm betting 100%, that today, once we see the trimmer map update around 6 o'clock my time, we're going to see this loaded up once again, if not higher than that number that we seen yesterday, 771. The prior day and the day before that, we seen levels above the 800 epicenter range, Northern California and west of Seattle up there into Washington. And we go back even a further, another day, 820. Just a massive amount of trimmer that's been taking place here along the Cascadia over the last 10 days or so. Um, up here in this little sectional data system up here, you can kind of get a glimpse of earthquake, act or not earthquake activity, but trimmer activity. And there's been some days, sometimes, where we've seen increase uh, in the multitudes of epicenters, uh, including that date, uh, looks like back in 2017, had about 844, and I think the day before that we had a uh, um, a thousand. I think it's it's peaked up there. It's well off the chart. But if you look back here, not too often do you see that. Uh, but man, I tell you what, over the last 10 days, it's definitely been ramping up along this area of the Cascadia. Southern section has seen it mostly. Uh, just within the past three days, we've seen that increase in activity up here to the north. But uh, yeah, it's it's uh it's building. When we got when we got all this trimmer here, folks, along the Cascadia, the slippage activity, we uh, you know we're, we kind of see that this area here along the locked area of the Cascadia is definitely building an increasing pressure. So just gotta gotta watch out very closely, and it's not fear mongering. I keep saying that. A lot of people keep saying, "Oh, it's fear mongering." It's not fear-mongering, folks. It's just being aware of the dynamics of what's going on here in the Pacific Northwest, Northern California specifically, um, Southern Inn. It doesn't take, remember, it doesn't take a full rupture of the Cascadia to produce uh, a pretty good-sized tsunami and uh, some damage here along the Northern California coast. We could just have a Southern Inn of the rupture here, about 8.2 or 8.3, and that alone would be uh, pretty bad. So I'm kind of, it, it's hard to say, folks, but all I know is the longer the trimmer that we got going on here, the more likelihood of this thing popping. Uh, around the Nevada area, we're still seeing some swarming out here, well south of Tonopah. Uh, I know this area right here last year seen, uh, they seen that six pointer. I can't remember what date or how large the magnitude was. Um, let's see if we can find that. Kind of want to get an idea of what. Uh, let's go 5.0 maximum. We'll leave that open. Custom. We'll go back here. The past couple. Let's just go back a year. Ah, uh, no, I want to go back a little bit further. We're gonna draw a rec rectangle here on this map. I can get this thing to work right. There we go. Okay, kind of see here. Here's the region near Tonopah, uh, near the Tonopah, Nevada area, where they had that. Uh, what is it? There it is. A 6.5. I knew it was in the sixes somewhere, and it's been well over a year. But uh, we've definitely seen quite a bit of aftershock activity in this in this region. And it's ongoing today. It's, it's obviously ongoing today. You can see it here on this map uh, of the USGS, the all magnitudes more specifically. But we haven't seen, see there's an activity up here near Tonopah where that 6.5 struck. But the swarm of activity down here is kind of kind of making me wonder what's brewing down there. Because we've never seen any large earthquake over there in this area south of Tonopah. Uh, but something's brewing. We definitely got a swarm of activity uh, they got it 37 kilometers south southeast of Goldfield, Nevada, and the uh, check out the range of these earthquakes. They're 13 kilometers deep. Some of these very shallow as well. 
Um, so we got to keep an eye on this area. I don't know if something larger is going to happen here, but there's definitely a swarm of, of earthquake activity. The satellite imagery uh, does show some volcanic domes and uh, some old ones. You can kind of see that scattered about out there in Nevada. A lot of buttes and whatnot. You can see them all over the place. Definitely volcanic in nature out there all over. So... It's something worth watching. I can't, I cannot completely rule out uh, that it's not volcanic. So we'll definitely uh, keep an eye on that, uh, especially with that uh, crazy range of uh, the uh, depth of these earthquakes. It's pretty crazy. Uh, let's get back here to the terrain here so we can see what's going on. There is some fault systems out there. Of course, Nevada is a. Uh, um, dynamic area when it comes to the plates and the fault systems. I don't see anything specifically marked here on the USGS map. Slate range region looks like towards the east is where this activity is occurring. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, USGS kind of kind of filling in some of the earthquakes that happened last night and this morning. They're up to about 43 earthquakes within the vicinity of uh, this looks like around Madison. Let's go ahead and check this out here real quick. See exactly where it's at on the USGS or the um, Yellowstone overview. There's all that earthquake activity. Maple Creek, Madison River. Uh, for some reason, that's not picking it up. I'm not for sure why, but definitely um, all these other stations really showing the activity. You can see all that movement right there. Some of those kicking up into the mid two range. Since then. It looks like things may be calming down, although not completely here within the last few hours. Um, still kind of rocking a little bit up there in Yellowstone. Last two hours, pretty quiet, but uh, these things come and go. Swarms, plates move around and creates create pressure, and um, it's uh, definitely dynamic in nature, and, and uh, they come and go. Let's see what else we got here, folks. Um, yeah, just be on guard. We got, like I say, there's a lot of movement uh, taking place out here along this area of the of the world. So, and I've said this for quite some time. We're looking at kind of kind of think of this where the next major quake is going to be either either this region or the Cascadia. There's just there's a, there's a kind of a teeter totter effect going on here. But uh, today, this area definitely showing quite a bit of movement in the region. So. All right, folks, we're going to jump off here. I'll have a complete update later on this evening. Till then, have a good day. It looks like a 3.9 kicking up in Alaska, the latest quake on the globe. A lot of shuffling going on at the moment, folks. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there.